Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are doing the theorem that says if two opposite sides of a quad are equal and parallel then the quad is a palm. So what are they saying? They are telling us that they're giving us one side and the one opposite it so two opposite sides and they are telling us that listen they are equal in length and they are parallel. Now Usually, one side is equal and parallel is a quality of a palm, but we cannot use that specific quality. So we need to prove any other quality. So you can prove that the, op the remaining side is parallel, you can prove that the remaining sides are equal, any other, other proof would suffice. Okay, so let us again look at the triangles that I'm working with. You're working with this triangle, and then we're working with the second triangle. Now, if they told us that it is parallel, let us write down first what we're working with, right? We've got in triangle ABC and triangle ADC. We have that AB is equal to DC. That was given to us. They told us that. Now, if you look at A1 and C1, they are also equal. A1 is equal to C1. Why? Because AB is parallel to DC. So, this is making alternate angles. Can you see the Z? Then, we have that AC is equal to AC. It is common. It is in both triangles. Therefore, we can say that triangle ABC is congruent is congruent to triangle ADC. Why is it congruent? Side, angle, side. Now immediately if I know the congruent then I can do deductions. If A1 is equal to C1 then I can say that AD is equal to BC. Now if AD is equal to BC and it's already given that AB is equal to DC. Then ABCD is a palm because the opposite sides are equal. Thank you for watching.